The legend of Chaldee was where coffee all began, and today we can see different types of coffee beans, ways to make it, and many more. Coffee in Malaysia can be traced to as far back as the 1800s, and from then on, Malaysians have developed their very own coffee culture. One part of the coffee culture that is still standing strong is the establishment of Kopi Tiam. One in particular is Sun Hin Long Coffee Shop, located in SS2 Patalin Jaya. This coffee shop is currently owned by Uncle Q Kok Meng. He inherited it from his father who was the one that started this coffee shop and is still appreciated by nations today. Malaysia, a hotbed of coffee culture, we have risen from the humble basic palate of a kopi o, which is black coffee with no milk, served by running hot water to coffee bags, to the modern day espresso shots and cappuccinos served from machines. Homegrown franchises such as Chawan, located in Bangsar, and Coffee Society in Publica, Solaris Dutamas, are such businesses that grew out of the love of coffee and making the most out of the opportunities available as staple modern day experience. Let's take a look at the types of coffee we have today. Kopi Moor 434, most popular houseplant coffee in Johor. It brings you a special flavor, unique taste, light, nutty flavor with subtle caramel undertones, all served in exquisite traditional quality. This is Cafe Latte from Antipodian. A cafe latte is a single shot of espresso to three parts of steamed milk. This is cappuccino from Coffee Society. A true cappuccino is a combination of equal parts espresso, steamed milk, and milk froth. Here we have the usual coffee lovers, the kind who value the drink over the food that they eat, despite it being lunchtime. Just like food, coffee is essential as it makes people happy and brings people from all walks of life together. We also got to speak to Coffea Coffee's barista, Raz, who's from Nepal and originally did bartending for a living. When he came here and started working at Coffea Coffee since day one of its opening, the different kinds of brewing and blending became the only thing that was on his mind. Coffee Society's key barista, Kevin, actually made his way up from initially being a waiter. His passion for coffee drove him to learn how to make it, not just serve it, and today he teaches many new baristas at the shop. Most baristas and customers can agree that the presentation of coffee is important, but a taste is everything. One of the people that we interviewed, Mr. Q, has worked with his father in his coffee shop located here in SS2. Serving coffee since 1977, here is his story. He, he has this vision to actually uh, start out this business to what I call it, cater for a few of my brothers and sisters who, who actually hasn't concentrate on studying, so they got the place. Meeting Mr. Q helped us realise how an idea of having a cup of coffee leaves a legacy. Being in a competitive coffee shop business, he is also thinking of revamping this business into a modern cafe, serving the same quality of coffee. Alan Home originally came from New Zealand, found his love for coffee 20 years ago. Located in Bangsa, Antipodan, which is one of his coffee houses around Asia, have their own coffee roaster. They serve a signature Frappuccino White, which is New Zealand traditional coffee. We don't, don't roast our own coffee, we roast our own coffee. Plus we source our own coffee, so we get it directly from the farmers. So what I love most is I get to go out to the farms and meet all the farmers. Mr. Kang Kim of Coffee Our Coffee believes in fresh coffee. Specialised in blended coffee quality, he makes his crop from Ethiopia, Jakarta and Korea. And here is what he has to say. Uh, should be fresh. Yes. Not fresh? No good. Yeah. Semua, semua itu seperti itu balance. Yeah. Harmony. Harmony. Yes, harmony. harmony. harmony.